Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hop into the messages, guys. Please remember that these will be general messages, okay? Everything is not going to resonate with every Libra. Only take the parts that are for you. Leave the rest for someone else, all right? Also, please remember that time and energy are fluid. So I can be picking up on past, present, or future energy. Your energy, the energy of someone around you, somebody thinking about you, or somebody that you are thinking about, okay? All right. So I had to close my window because my birds get loud out there. <laughs> they do. All right, so let's get into the messages, guys. Holy Spirit, God, your angels, ancestors. Spirit, God, spirit, team of the highest white light. Please be with me through, um, through this reading for Libra. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please protect me as I channel the messages for Libra. If there's any evil eye negative energy spell work being sent this way, I ask that it is returned to sinners tenfold and or transmitted into more positive energy, positive vibes. I say, amen. All right. Let's get it, Libra. What's the messages for my Libras today, Spirit. What's the messages? <coughs> oh, excuse me. What's the messages? All right. Shuffling for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. Libra Collective. Cross Watchers. What's up? For Libra. Incoming Libra, incoming, hot and heavy, okay, incoming. <sighs> you got communication coming in or you have somebody wanting to come forward or travel towards you, okay? And you're like, me? A whole me? <laughs> nah. Somebody wants to come towards you though, Libra. Somebody's, mm, somebody's been watching you. Somebody's looking at you. Somebody, um... This may be like a like somebody sliding in your DMs or something. Yeah, this is what this feels like. This feels like somebody sliding in your DMs after seeing a post that you that you made. Okay. Um, this may be like a secret crush or a secret admirer. Somebody may be telling you how they feel about you, but how they feel is they want a bone. Okay. Somebody's name could be Monica or Lisa. Oh, you got King of Cups here. Could be a uh, fire sign. Oh, you got the Emperor. I mean, the Empress. What the hell? And I meant water sign. And I said fire sign. So it could be a fire sign. You do have Aries. Um, you do have Sagittarius and Leo energy out here. So we'll throw Aries in there. Um, yeah. Heavy uh, Leo. Pisces energy is here as well. And then you have the Empress. Somebody is watching you, Libra. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They want to make you an offer. Somebody could be asking you out on a date. It could be a Virgo. Okay, it could be Capricorn with the devil energy here. It could be Leo. Aquarius is here. Gemini is here. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio. Gosh darn. Could be anybody. What is this? All right, let's see what comes out. Yeah, it looks like somebody's coming in to ask you on a date. So you may get a DM. Maybe around like six. Maybe you post something around six, okay? Um, November 8th, 6th could be significant. The 2nd could be significant. Somebody's initials could be K or N, first, last, middle, initial. I'm hearing Nicholas, Nicole, Nancy, Nathaniel, Cole with the K. Empress, yeah, somebody's admiring you. Somebody see you, um, here. Somebody's trying to hold on to something. Hold on to you. No, this doesn't look like you. I feel like somebody sees you being abundant and somebody's trying to, somebody's stressed. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's stressed out over you, Libra. Somebody see you being abundant, being in this Empress Ten of Pentacles energy. You can have a platform. You can have a public space. Or this could be somebody just watching you on your, on your channel. I mean, hmm. <laughs> this could be somebody watching you on your uh social media. I said on your channel. Some of you can have a channel. There may be somebody in here watching me too. I don't know. It's been some weird shit. But anyways, I digress. The Empress <laughs> and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody sees you in this Ten of Pentacles energy and it's stressing them out. 
Yeah. It's stressing them out, Libra. Okay. What else for Libra? Let's clarify. Clarify this Eight of Wands. What's this communication about? Clarify the Eight of Wands, please. What's this communication about? You guys could be seeing eight eight, or um, eights could be significant. August could be significant. August sixth is here. August second, June eighth, June second, February. Am I taking these? Okay. February um eighth, February the sixth. Yeah, somebody's stressed out about telling you the truth. Somebody's in their head about the truth. This is the communication. We're clarifying the eight of wands, the incoming communication. Somebody that wants to come towards you or travel towards you or say something to you. This could be um, somebody is stressing out. Nine of swords, they're in their head. They're worried. They got anxiety about some type of truth here, about telling you the truth about something here. Yeah, they've been contemplating this a, a long time. This person feels stuck. In, and this is somebody that is heartbroken or feels stuck. Somebody that may be stuck on you or somebody that's heartbroken by you and they're stuck in their head. They want to they wanna say something. If this isn't you, this is the person that, that you're dealing with or somebody that's coming towards you. Because <clears throat> somebody could also be stressed out about somebody that wants to come towards you. Clarify the Ace of Wands. What's this truth? Why is the Ace of Wands here? What's this person stressed out about? Huh. I'm hearing the truth. I said... The truth shall set you free. Somebody needs to say something to you because I just noticed this is my first time noticing this um, handcuff chain on this person's arm. I, I haven't noticed that when I use these cards before. Somebody wants to break free of something or the truth shall set somebody free, but they're stressed out about it. What's this truth? What's the Ace of Swords? What's this truth? Hold on, I don't want me to clarify using a different day. Oh, my back. <sighs> if you guys want to book a personal reading, information is in the description box below, okay? The Hangman, the Strength card, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is on the bottom of this deck. I feel like somebody don't want you to walk away or don't want you to go away. Or somebody doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity with you is what with the eight of cups to the king of pentacles. Somebody doesn't want you to go toward this king of pentacles because you have the king of pentacles showing up here and you have the king of pentacles showing up here. So you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn um, that could be coming towards you. There's somebody, um, a Leo or a Pisces. That you guys could be walking away from. Doesn't have to be these signs. They could have these strong placements in their chart. But Leo and um, Pisces energy are here. Looks like you're walking away and walking toward a king of pentacles. Somebody doesn't want you to go forward with somebody. Because they feel like they're about to miss out on an opportunity with you. And they're stressed out because they feel like it's about to be over between the two of you. With the death card here. Could be a Scorpio. This feels like somebody's ex. Like, like you guys' ex or something. Who's this person? This deck. Who's this person that um is stressed out over Libra? Who's this person that's stressed out over Libra? I'm hearing Marcus Anthony. Could be a Capricorn with the devil energy here. Or is somebody that's obsessed with you? Virgo Gemini energy as well. The magician. Ooh, some and the the magician to the seven of swords is somebody that's trying to manipulate you. Yeah, the, with the devil card here. This is somebody that's trying to manipulate you. They could definitely be obsessed with you. Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo energy, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like this person is trying to confuse you or they're confused. Queen of Wands could be an Aries. Yeah, you're walking away from somebody. Could be a Leo. There's a sun card. Or you're trying to this person. Mm. Who's this person worried about? Um, stressed out over Libra. Who's this person stressed out over Libra? This is somebody that's obsessed with you. I get such a 
it ugh, the feeling that I get with this card, y'all don't even understand. Like this devil card right here, specifically in this deck, gives me a feeling that none of these other devil energy cards give me. It's like it's somebody that's obsessed with you, could even be in love with you, but you could have cut this person off to follow your path or follow your journey. Now they're angry, five of wands, because you closed out a cycle with them. I guess. Ooh, yeah, you moved on and you're not looking back. Could have, been, could have been a toxic, dramatic. I don't know why I heard dramatic, but like a toxic ass situation. This this shit is so toxic to me. These people digging around in each other's chest, holding on to each other. See those chains right there? Yeah, this is somebody. You're breaking free of some type of toxic devil energy. Or, or if this isn't you, this is what's going on around you with your counterpart or the person that's coming towards you. Because lately, we've been picking up on these divine union, these counterparts, these persons that's coming towards you. So if you're not resonating with this energy, but I kind of feel like if you are resonating with it, you and your person are going through the same thing. All right? Because I really feel like this is a time for reunions right now. So I feel like... If you are resonating with this energy, you and your person are going through the same thing or you already went through this and now it's their turn or this could just be you. Okay. I don't know. But somebody is, um, you're breaking free of some type of, um, this could, and this could be anything. This could be a person. This could be some type of toxic, um, person, toxic relationship. This could be addictions. Um, this could be some type of obsessions or something like that here. Whatever that is, whatever that energy is represents for you. You're breaking away from it. You're breaking away from it. But I feel like somebody doesn't want you to. Yeah, ten of cups to the four of wands on the bottom of the deck and an offer coming in. You got a legit offer coming in here, Libra. I just saw 1138 on the timer, which is 1111. Yeah, twin flame energy. 1111, four of wands. You got a, um, you got a solid offer coming in here, but you got this phony. You got two offers for some of you. One of them is a solid offer. One is one of them is this phony salesman, Devil King of Wands energy. Could be could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire sign with Capricorn placement strong in the chart. But this is a person that wants to have a new beginning with you. But I feel like it's it's because they feel like they're losing you, or they feel like something's falling apart here. Strength card. This person feels weak without you. They feel like they're losing you. Yeah. All right. Something's toxic. Ooh, something's toxic. Somebody's toxic. That ugh. <laughs> I hate that energy. Like no other devil card in none of these decks give me that type of energy. All right, two is two swords. Yeah, I said you guys are gonna have a choice, a decision to make. This is two people. There's there's a toxic person that's attached to you, and or your person that doesn't want to let either of you go, one or the both of you go. Um. Or you had, um, and I feel like you have a choice between a legit, a legit offer that is like gonna make you happy, and like um, an offer with somebody that's just like trying to hold on to you because they're obsessed with you, and because they they don't want you to go toward anybody else, or they don't want you to, you know, it's like they want to keep you as an option or something like that. Because whoever this person is doesn't feel like they want to commit to you. It just feels like they want to with the king with the knight of wands and the devil energy out here that's some heavy sexual energy it just seems like they want to keep you around for that reason somebody could be born in 89 or 81 or 82 you could be seeing two two or two 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 any variation of twos i'm seeing um august 15th august 9th august 1st august 2nd september 8th september 1st september 15th september 2nd i'm sorry if i sound weird y'all my voice is going in and out january 5th um and February the second, February fifteenth. All right, why is the um Knight of Wands here? This person is coming in. I feel like this is the person that's gonna slide in your DMs. This toxic person, and I feel like yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like oh, you got ten, ten, ten showing up here. Ten of Pentacles came out. Ten of wands. I mean, ten of um yeah, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person will confess to you. They will want to be with you. or And they probably really do have some type of feelings for you. I don't know. I don't see any cups here except for the Queen of Cups. So, I mean, this could be love. Okay, they do they do care about you. But Queen of Wands, see, it's it's all lustful energy. It's, it's real lustful. And I feel like this person is going to come in offering you this Ten of Pentacles. They may offer you but, what you, but what the other person is offering you is the Ten of Cups. 
okay and not saying that you can't have both but somebody within this ten of pentacles energy is somebody who's just very money driven focused on um material things and they may have like a business or i'm here and work from home they may work from home but whatever this is which this is the family this is stability and you see the family there but what's driving the ten of pentacles is money and the ten of cups what's driving the ten of cups is love okay so that's the difference and i feel like this person is trying to bait you or bribe you or persuade you with this ten of pentacles energy this could be somebody very very stable this could be somebody very very stable they're stressed out over some type of ending or because they feel betrayed by you or they feel like something is about to end this could even be somebody that was juggling you to a pinnacle why is the um give me the knight of wands energy to the ten of pentacles why is it here tell me about this knight of wands Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Oh, well, damn. Did I speak too soon or is this a, a choice? Ten of damn cups. Ten of cups. Okay, wait a minute. Y'all got to give me something for that. Is that the, that may be the other person stepping in. Let me, let me clarify this Ten of Cups. Somebody may be trying to offer it all to you, Libra. Um, clarify the Ten of Cups. Who's the Ten of Cups energy? And what's the Ten of Cups energy? Because the Ten of Cups is somebody who wants to see. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So what fell up was the tower. Mm, 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 mm. That's what this person is trying to sabotage. Got you. Emperor, that, that. That this stack fell over there. This one fell upright. This one was um turned over. The emperor is on top of the deck though, with the page of wands and the sun card happiness. Yeah, somebody's trying to cause chaos and conflict for your person coming towards you. This happiness is coming towards you. Okay, that's why the ten of cups jumped out here because this person feels like whatever they're offering in in like monetary value or whatever is gonna sway you more than you know actual love and feelings and emotions. Because they're kind of they're trying to manifest a tower moment into your life. Look at this. Seven of swords, ten of swords, ten of wands. No, this person is trying to trying to send you a heavy burden. That's what they're doing. That's why the Ten of Cups pop out of here, because they want to cause some type of drama or something when it comes to this ten of, whoever this ten of cups energy that's coming in for you. And they feel like they can sway you with this with this ten of pentacles. Mm, that's some sneaky shit. Tell me, tell me about the six of wands. Now, the six of wands talks about a victory. This could be you. This you can have some type of platform, like I said before, or this could be you on social media. You, you could be very popular, okay? Even if it's just popular, like amongst your friends, like you the friends that you the friend that make everybody laugh, or you the friend that everybody hang out with all the time. It's like you could be popular among your friend group. Um, I don't know why I did that. Sorry. You could be popular among your popular like that, I guess, among your friend group. OK, and you get you have a lot of admirers and a lot of people liking your posts and things like that. Or you can have some type of platform or this is just somebody that keeps an eye on you via um, uh, social media. And some and this is about a victory or win. Somebody wants to win something or something like that. What is this? Ten of um, I meant ten of nothing. <laughs> Um, the moon card, the chariot, and the four cups. <sighs> Why? <sighs> Some, Le okay, let me tell you. I almost said Leo. Libra. Six of Wands is Leo energy. Somebody is watching you on your on your platform on your post if they ain't watching you and if you don't have social media maybe they got a picture of you if not maybe they thinking about you in their mind's eye okay i don't know maybe they meditate on you over your energy but somebody is looking at you sending you negative energy okay somebody looks at your at, stares at your pictures okay like this this is you on social media or whatever it is that they look at Okay, they could even just wrote your name down on a piece of paper. I don't know why I'm getting that. Somebody stares at you and they're like, Block Libra's blessings. Brock. <laughs> Somebody's name could be Brock. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Brock. 
They're like block Libra's bless. Why can't I fucking say it? <laughs> wow, they don't want me to say it. Somebody's like block Libra's blessings. And they're staring at the picture of you while they're saying it or they're meditating on your energy. This is not funny, y'all. It's not. But I'm just laughing because I couldn't get the daggone words out. What the hell? Somebody's jealous of you. They want you to miss out on some type of opportunity here. They want you to miss something. Somebody's sending you negative energy. Okay. See? This is why I'm saying that. Somebody's sending you negative energy so that you can... This is the negative energy, these three cans right here. They want you to be focused on this. They want you to be sad and depressed and and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that you miss out on whatever this is. This win, this victory, this new opportunity, this person coming towards you, this career, this money, whatever this is for you. Somebody is sending you negative energy to try to put you in a low vibrational state so that you don't see your blessings or that you miss your blessings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Could be a high priestess. You could be this high priestess. There's some intuitive energy out here. So you can intuitively know this or you know who this is. Or somebody, look look at her even. She looks like she's looking at a spell book or something. It's giving me witch vibes. The queen of wands keep popping up in the deck. Clarify this high priestess. Oh, child, I'm tripping at how I cannot get them words out. Brock, Brock, Brock. I kept saying it. Somebody's name is Brock. I heard B Rock. You're giving me B Rad from Malibu's Most Wanted. Somebody could be from Malibu or Florida. I'm hearing Chauncey, Sydney, Malia, Tawny. Like T-A-W-N-Y, Tawny, Jermaine, Jeremy, Priscilla, Dakota, Miles, Malcolm, Marie, Tania, Vonda, Yolanda, good grief. So like T Pablo. Give me um or Drake. Kiki. <laughs> Okay, I've been shuffling. Why is the high priestess here? Sorry, y'all. I was channeling, channeling, channeling. High priestess. Why is it here? Give me a card. Okay, thank you. Eight of Cups. Somebody wants you to walk away from an opportunity. Yeah, look, two of wands. This is this new opportunity that's coming in. Somebody wants you to walk away from this. And remember I said somebody could even be thinking about you, meditating about this, seeing you in their mind's eye, even if they don't have pictures of you or whatever. I mean, even if you don't have social media, somebody does not want this new beginning for you, okay? Or they don't want somebody to come towards you. Seven of Cups, they want you in this confused energy. Could be an Aquarius. They don't want you to get some type of wish fulfillment here. They want you to be confused about which way you're supposed to go. This is why that was important um, earlier about the person. Like I said, there's a that Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups situation. Yeah, somebody's trying to confuse you so that you don't know which way to go, which direction to go in. Whether this has to do with who to choose and love or what what career path or something like that. I don't know. Could have something to do with your spirituality. Could be family that wants you to go down a certain path, okay? But whatever this is for you, somebody is trying to confuse you. And um, I, I heard block your third eye. Somebody could even be trying to block your third eye. Yeah. King of Swords could be a Gemini. Strength card could be a Leo. Yeah, Five of Swords. Sabotage your wish fulfillment. It's just like somebody wants you to be stuck in, in depression and drama and chaos. Somebody's name could be Alice. Here in Belinda, the world closing out a chapter or cycle. She's crossing the finish line. You're gonna get a victory anyway. I heard the world is your, your the world is your oyster. You got three of cups. You're gonna be celebrating, and this person is gonna be under judgment for whatever they're doing. You're gonna find this out. Whatever um this is, okay. Um, do I want to wrap this reading up? Let's get tea leaves. Let's get a few. I'm not going to get too many.
Damn. You will be receiving a precious or giving a precious gift. <laughs> Diamond. For Libra. I'm hearing Kodak Black. Somebody listening to that or listens to is that a that's a rapper, right? I don't listen to. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Disappointment and some affair. You're gonna have to cut somebody off. Or maybe you already have. Somebody is definitely working against you, Libra. And they're putting they're they're increasing their efforts. It says increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. I feel like your goals are being happy. Okay, somebody is thinking about you. Could be a Leo. Um, with the sun card here, but it doesn't have to be. It says increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So if you want to achieve your goals of happiness, then increase your efforts. But I feel like this person is going to increase their efforts to try to do manipulate you or you or whatever it is that they're doing. Okay, I don't know. I feel like that's per that person is about to increase their efforts. Yeah, discord among family and friends. This may be some like a family or a close friend. Ask Kaden to give you one. You have an exciting event coming up, Libra. Something exciting is happening. Well, you got this. Take care. And temporary problems. Yeah, these clouds. Something's cloudy. You don't see something coming here, Libra. These enemies that are working against you, whatever it is that they're doing, you don't see something coming. Cloudy is like, well, I don't see the muddled and unclear thinking. If I saw that, I feel like the clouds may be moving out of the way because it's time for you to get out and have fun and you have good fortune. But watch your money, okay? Yeah, you have success here. Something is temporary. Whatever this is or whoever this is is working against you. I feel like don't worry about it because it's temporary. Yeah, I feel like more than the clouds moving in the way, the clouds are moving out of the way. And and you're about and this is about to be revealed to you. Whoever these people are, this person is, okay? I feel like you're gonna be able to see something clearly or someone clearly. You have January here. That could be significant. This could be taking place in January. Somebody could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Okay, you have a chain of events will affect your life. There's an announcement and disappointment. Hmm. Something life changing is going to happen. Maybe in January, maybe not. But it looks like something life changing is happening. And with this disappointment out here, I don't know if it's something good or bad. Um, Whatever this announcement is, it could be anything. But there's something that may change your life. That's going to be life changing. Getting back to the basics. I'm hearing starting over. Feels like starting over. So you may be starting over something new, some type of new project, a new job, um, a new home, a new place, a new state, or something like that, okay? Could be anything. You have July here. Cancer, Leo energy. Okay. And you have victory in some endeavor. <laughs> if somebody's trying to get pregnant, and I'm not a doctor, so don't hold me to this, okay? Go see the proper person that you're supposed to see about legal matters, doctoral matters. I don't think I said that right, but we all know what I'm talking about. Medical things and such. I'm not licensed to, to give y'all any advice on that. But somebody, if you're trying to get pregnant, I feel like it's going to happen for you. Or maybe it already has happened and you don't know it. Also, um, this could be a business or um, somebody could be able to travel. Maybe you're taking a vacation, a break. Maybe you're finally going to get a break. Okay, maybe around July. Something about, I don't know, a victory in some and ever. Okay. You have time to get out of a situation and a man's. You got dealings or a relationship with a man and stork. I just said. News of a birth or a business opportunity. Okay. Some of you are birthing a new baby. Some of you are birthing a new business. Okay. That is your baby. Will be your baby. Somebody going to gossip about this. Okay. Be careful of your ego. Okay. I feel like you... <laughs> 
and pay attention to your health. Great passion, young woman. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, I just said something about a vacation and I split the deck on where'd it go? I don't know. I split the deck on the hammock, the vacation card. But yeah, some of you may be taking a break or a vacation. Um Spirit somebody about to be so happy that you you may have to you you yourself may have to check your ego sometimes okay and people will be gossiping about what you have going on people will be um some people are saying that you're delusional about something if you've been telling somebody that you've been feeling something coming something big is happening some big change is coming in your life or whatever this person thinks you're delusional and they're telling people that you're delusional and you're crazy okay but um but for some of you I feel like you're about to be so happy that you're going to have to literally check your ego. Like, and, and it's because you deserve it. And not in like a bad, like stuck up narcissistic way. I feel like, I don't know, because you got the diamonds out here. You're going to be having your di her diamonds and furs. Okay. Faux furs for those of you who don't do that. Happiness. And then you're going to be in your bag. I feel like your money is going to be good. You're going to be happy and satisfied in your life. For some of you, you may be meeting somebody or you may be in a relationship. So I just feel like you're going to be so happy that sometimes you're going to have to check yourself. Like, girl, calm down. Like, ugh, calm down. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, either way, whatever is going on with you or about to be happening with you, somebody going to be talking about it. Of course. But anyways, I just saw 31, 33 on the timer. I'm going to leave the message here. I hope this helps somebody. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.